Uh, does it seem like a positive read for, from your perspective? Uh, we were expecting an inline quarter from, from HCA and from Tenet, so it does look like they've, they've met those expectations. The first quarter utilization, healthcare utilization, has been really weak. The managed care print has been tremendous. United Health Group, Anthem this morning, um, Aetna reported, Centene and WellCare, all beats across the board. Uh, Tenant yesterday did have a modest beat, so I think that one exceeded expectations to some degree. I think um, ATA has been moving sideways mostly in the second half of the first quarter. I think, you know, while the shares may look like they're slightly down, um, I think the fears of a miss were, were in the stock to some degree, so I think the stocks will rally at least from, you know, from tomorrow onward. Yeah, and I think maybe part of the puzzle is getting filled in. Actually, there's a new piece right now on the Bloomberg that says, in fact, there are extraordinary things having to do with the tax benefits and the sales of assets ah, that really explain the earnings per share. Yeah. So, in yeah. general, it looks like it looks like the earnings are in line, except for a couple right. of extraordinary gains because of taxes. Exactly. And some tax reform. I was wondering if it is buyback and, and the tax tailwinds. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the tax that, tailwinds that, are below, important below the line. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, so, so uh, explain in general in the services area how it is doing. Is it thriving? Is it growing? Are share prices going up overall in services? This quarter, it's been mixed. Uh, the, the first part of the quarter, as I said, the hospitals uh, did quite well, but managed care was going sideways. Earnings have been a positive uh, catalyst for managed care. Fundamentals across the board are strong for managed care. We are, um, you know, contrarian in our view of uh, HCA and Tenet being strong outperforms. Both those names have an ambulatory platform, and there is a mix shifting outside the hospital into urgent care centers, ambulatory surgery centers, and we don't think that the multiples in the valuation reflect that adequately for those two names. We think there should be more multiple dispersion in the hospitals. Right now, they're all converging at about 7.5 times EV EBITDA around the mean, and there's a huge difference in the performance, actually.